Let's break out the Skittles and talk about amiodarone. Okay, so let's talk quickly about cardiac action potential. So at resting potential, we sit at about minus 70 millivolts. In order to create action potential, we need to hit at least minus 55 millivolts. And then at this very peak, we're at 30, plus 30 millivolts. So this is all inside the cell. So the cell essentially is gonna get more positive as action potential occurs. And so what we have here, this is the action potential at resting. Okay, and so we have our sodium on the outside, potassium on the inside. And then when we hit active potential, this first upstroke here, what's gonna happen is that we're going to have sodium that's going to move inside the cell in order to create this first upstroke, which is the depolarization of the cell. The inside of the cell is getting more positive because sodium is moving into the cell, making it more positive. Then at that point, the sodium channel is going to close after we have that, that action potential occur, that depolarization occur. And then during this phase here, basically nothing's really going to start uh, moving other than the fact that we're going to add a little bit of calcium in there inside the cell in order to create more positivity. And then the potassium channel is going to open and allow for potassium to start to move outside the cell. And that's where we see this swing right here is that potassium is going to continue to move outside the cell in order to bring it back to a more negative resting potential from its peak here. And so that's essentially how action potential is going to occur. Now, where does amiodarone come into play? Well, amiodarone is going to block this channel. Okay, it's not going to allow potassium channels to open. And so what it means is that potassium can't shift to outside the cell, effectively meaning that the repolarization phase right here is not going to be as quick, as an efficient, effectively going to make this plateau or the action potential much a little bit longer and by doing that we're going to decrease the ability to create the cells excitability and by doing that we can hopefully convert patients out of things like ventricular tachycardia because we're prolonging action potential meaning another action potential can occur until this one's done effectively slowing the excitability of the cell and the reoccurring fast rates that ventricular tachycardia causes. So that's how amiodarone is going to impact the cardiac action potential in order to slow rhythms and convert people out of ventricular tachycardia. We love that you love our videos, so much so that we've actually created some shock illustrated notes for you. And you can download these for free in a link on our bio.